Hello and welcome Libra. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. All right, Libra, let's go ahead and let's get started. Remember, this is a general reading, so not everything is going to resonate with your situation. And that's okay. Take what does and leave the rest behind. Let's see what is coming out for Libra. What is going on and what does Libra need to know? Beautiful. So you have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, you also have two of cups, six of pentacles, beautiful, king of cups, so it could be dealing with some water energy, and bottom of the deck, we have death and rebirth, all right, underneath that, we have the will, I don't know why I felt that was important to show you, but for some reason, somebody out there needs to know about the wheel of fortune. All right. Well, the will. <laughs> um, so this could have something to do with timing. Your timing could be a factor. It could be your luck is about to change since we do have the death card here. You know, the past is being put in the past, um, going, th th you know, towards like a new rebirth, towards, you know, a new transformation. Um, with the Queen of Pentacles, though, I am getting that somebody is really standing their ground within a, re within a relationship. Um, I keep getting like things could have been one-sided and it's like now things are kind of changing, things are turning. Um, again, I feel somebody standing their ground. With the King of Cups, I also feel somebody kind of opening up as well. So of course, you know, the Queen of Pentacles, that's Earth Energy, King of Cups, Water Energy. Um, the Two of Cups, this is a soulmate connection. This could possibly be a marriage. Hmm. Um, for some of you out there, I'm getting that this could be either a marriage or a long-term partnership. Um, and it's like if things don't change, because it does feel a little one-sided, so if things don't change, you know, we could be possibly heading towards an end here. Because it just feels like the Queen of Pentacles is kind of pulling away. And the King of Cups just feels kind of blind to the situation. It's like some, it's like, yeah, something's being ignored here. These are actually beautiful cards. I mean, I'm not, you know, I don't know. It just feels like something within a partnership is really kind of being ignored and it needs to be acknowledged. With the Queen of Pentacles, see, we have the Six of Materials coming out again. So we have the Six of Pentacles, which is what that is, um, coming out twice. So again, this is talking about, um, you know, finding that middle ground. This is talking about evening out the scale, making sure things are balanced. Um, again, I'm feeling like something is a little too one-sided. So maybe that's what's kind of being ignored here because there is so much love, because there is so much, you know, nurturing, compassion. But it's like, yeah, it's too one-sided. With the Nine of Inspiration, again, um, this is somebody being very independent, very self-confident. Um, with the Knight of Voices, although, okay, hold on. <laughs> um, I was getting that message because usually that's what that is, but now I'm getting that somebody could be too, a little too codependent, a little too dependent on somebody else within the relationship. The Knight of Voices is, you know, kind of hot and cold, and so that's what's kind of making things a little too one-sided, is somebody's a little too dependent on the other person. So Libra, this could be you, this could be your person, you know, again, take it how it resonates. Um, but it just feels like, you know, things need to find more of a balance here. All right, Two of Cups, please. We have the Two of Inspiration, we have the Ace of Emotions, and we have the Ace of Materials. Okay, so beautiful. Um, like I said, a lot of love here, a lot of feelings here, definitely. But with the Two of Inspiration, this is that decision. This is being at that fork in the road of which way do I go? You know, how do I make this work? You know, which way do I choose? But the Ace of Emotion talks about unconditional love. You know, Ace of Materials talks about let's plant the seed and let's watch it grow. Let's nurture it together and then, you know, see what it brings about later. You know, this is talking about long-term stability. This is talking about watching something come into fruition later. You know, so this is definitely, like I said, some beautiful cards. It just feels like there's a little bit of a, 
like a, a rough spot, you know, a bump in the road. Um, you know, there's something that we got to get over here. And it does feel like I said that something here is a little too one-sided. Again, somebody could be depending too much on the, on the other person. Um, there's really a call for some kind of independence here. I feel like somebody is kind of being like smothered or, or it feels like something is like really weighing a lot on somebody right now is what I keep getting. So it's, it is kind of like that smothering feeling. Um, so whether it's just, you know, somebody in this relationship, again, taking on too much, you know, it's just something feels really one-sided here. Like I said, we need to find that balance. Um, but I mean, th there is unconditional love here. There's a lot of love, a lot of feelings. Like I said, definitely room for, you know, potential to, you know, grow, to make this, you know, continue working. Um, we just need to find that, that middle ground. All right, Six of Pentacles. We have the Page of Materials. We have the Sun card. See what I mean? Beautiful card. Seven of Inspiration. So there is about to be a breakthrough. Um, somebody is definitely realizing like, hey, this pressure is too much. It's too much on me. I can't, you know, take this. I'm surprised like the Ten of Wands has not come out because I'm feeling a lot of pressure. Um, but it just feels like, again, something is really weighing heavily on somebody within this relationship. But I'm seeing like a breakthrough happening. I'm seeing somebody kind of like wakening up to it, you know, opening up communication, especially with this page of materials, um, you know, making like an offer, making like, um, you know, some kind of resolution is what I keep getting with the sun card, seeing that light at the end of the tunnel, definitely going about this in a, you know, an optimistic way, being very positive, you know, that, like I said, I'm not seeing a bad income. It's just, we need to find that middle ground. All right. So we have the queen of emotions. For the King of Cups. So King of Cups and Queen of Cups. Because um, that's what the Queen of Emotions is. So there's a pair here. Um, like I said, a lot of feelings. You know, it's... Um a lot of love here. It could be an intuitive connection. It's just like that vibe, like, you know, when your partner is, you know, kind of like, um, down, you know, real feeling really sad. It's like, you know, you just intuitively, you know, it's like, you can, I don't know. There's just, you know, that connection there with the nine of emotions, you know, this is talking about wish fulfillment. Um, and then we have the full card. So again, you know, that's talking about like new beginnings. That's talking about taking a leap of faith, trying something new, something new needs to be brought into this situation. And by that, I just mean old ways need to kind of be put in the past or, you know, maybe it's some issues that we have from the past that need to be put in the past. <clears throat> However, like I said, I'm just getting that, um, we need to find some middle ground. That is the most important thing. Okay. So we actually had a few cards fall out here. Um, we have the Ace of Inspiration. So, you know, that would be the Ace of Wands. So, you know, again, there's that connection. There's, you know, again, another new beginning, a new opportunity. So you've got a lot of Aces here. The only Ace, and let me make sure. Yeah, the only Ace that has not come out in this situation is the Ace of Swords. So, and I think that's the one that we really need out here is to open up communication, see things clearly. Um, but with the ace of inspiration, again, you know, that's that spark that's rekindling that spark. I um, you know, bringing that spark back, that passion back. Um, but nevertheless, you know, it's, it's an opportunity to make something happen here with the four of inspiration. Again, I'm getting that this could be a marriage because that is, you know, marriage card, family card, um, twin flame card. You know, I am getting just a very strong, like I said, like I said, connection here with this, with this relationship, um, because we also, like I said, have the King of Queen, King of Cups, um, Queen of Cups. So again, there's a lot of feelings. There's a lot of emotions. Um, you know, death card is, you know, card of Scorpio. So you could be dealing with a water sign. Um, I mean, that's, I'm not really, cause there's so many here. So I'm not really going to call out signs, but cause it really could be anybody, but I am getting, like I said, this could be a marriage. This could be, you know, a relationship, um, long term, but I'm just getting that something needs to change. That's the most important thing. Page of inspiration. Yeah. Um, again, we need to open up some communication. Again, finding that middle ground is going to be extremely important within this relationship. We have the three of voices. So there is some heartbreak. There's definitely some, you know, some hurt. There's some pain. Um, you know, somebody could be hiding it is what I keep getting. So maybe that's why things are a little one-sided because somebody's hiding their pain and they're just kind of like 
taking it all, you know, on themselves, um, you know, bottling things up. It's not good. We need to open up communication. And then with the devil card, again, this is kind of talking about codependency, which is what I was getting from the get go. So this could be, you know, drinking, this could be, you know, drugs, this could be, um, this could be a number of things. This could be just somebody relying way too heavily on another person. Um, you know, this could be, like I said, just a number of things as far as codependency issues go. Uh, but this is again, all about finding that balance. And I'm going to pause it because I don't know if you guys can hear it, but we have a train going through. Okay. Um, so yeah, so as I was saying, like I said, definitely need to open up communication. That's going to be the main thing here. Um, somebody really needs to, cause I keep feeling, like I said, somebody's bottling up their feelings. So that needs to kind of stop too, because that's only taking on so much. Um, and when you bottle things up like that, what does it do? It just festers inside until eventually you blow up. And we don't want that to happen in this connection. Like I said, there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of potential here, room for growth. Um, yeah, so I'm just saying, like I said, we have new beginnings. We have the opportunities here if we want to take them and if we want to fix them. But somebody's really going to have to open up about their hurt, about their pain, about their emotions. Um, and again, we need to find that middle ground. So let's get some Oracle cards for Libra. awakening. Yeah. So again, okay. Bottom of the deck. I'm going to show you this because it does feel pretty relevant since we do have the devil card here. Um, bound. It does feel like somebody is kind of bound to a situation or bound to, um, uh, ways that they are like, um, it's like they're, they need to change their ways, but they're just kind of bound to them. You know, they're so used to being like, you know, used to like bottling up their feelings and not talking about them or, you know, used to just taking on so much, you know, and that it's finally starting to just kind of be like, this is too much. This is weighing too much on me. They're used to like handling everything is what I'm trying to say. And it's okay to ask for help. You know, Libra, I mean, I totally get it. You know, I'm, I'm kind of the same way, you know, um, I tend to take on way too much. And then before I know it, it's just like, it's, everything is just weighing on you. You know, so I completely understand about, you know, needing to just kind of set aside pride, you know, whatever it is, and really just kind of ask, you know, for help when you need to. So again, Libra, this could be you, this could be your person. Um, but you know, I do feel like I said, somebody is going through an awakening here and they're figuring these things out. So that's good. Like I said, and some big changes need to take place here. Past needs to be put in the past. Maybe the past was kind of toxic because the devil card did come out, you know, with the, um, the death card. And so, you know, maybe again, that could be, you know, part of the past, you know, within this relationship, you know, has some toxicity, you know, there could have been cheating. There could have been, um, you know, again, some kind of codependency, maybe those things kind of keep resurfacing or at least the pain from them does because we haven't talked it out yet. You know, we haven't gotten past that pain because again, we're bottling it up inside. So again, take it how it resonates, but that's just what I'm getting on my end here. Okay. As far as some angel numbers for this connection, we have 333, three. past, present, and future energies need examining. See, what did I just say? So what do you truly want moving forward? Okay. All right. Let's get a romance angel for this connection, please. Express your love. Okay, and I'm going to show you the bottom. Um, pay attention to the red flags. Again, if you start seeing like somebody, you know, taking on way too much, again, really bottling things up, not talking, not communicating, you know, it. we need to get that out. Like I said, we can't be bottling things up anymore. Express your love again. Open up. You know, talk things out. Get it out. Don't take it all in. Don't hold it all in. All right, so now we are going to do some charms. For Libra, so I'm going to adjust the camera so you guys can see the tray, and let's get some charms. All right. 
Okay, so we do have the little charm um, of love, and it has the arrow. So, you know, again, like I said, I'm seeing that love is still here. I'm seeing that love can still continue, you know, for the future. Um, with the little crown here, again, I'm getting something about somebody's self-worth. Um, somebody could have very low confidence or just not see themselves as, you know, being worthy or something along those lines. But, you know, again, we need to kind of reevaluate that. Um, you know, definitely reevaluate our self-worth. Know that, you know, you are worthy of, you know, something healthy, something beautiful, um, you know, and you are lovable. All right. We also have the boxing glove. So, you know, somebody could have, um, you know, could be involved in sports. You know, they could be involved, uh, be like a boxer. Maybe that's one of their passions. Maybe they just love watching it, you know, whatever the case is. Um, but this is also saying that the relationship is worth fighting for. Or if you want the relationship, you're going to have to fight for it. And I don't mean physically. <laughs> I just mean by opening up, you know, letting this person inside and letting them, you know, see the real you, know the real you and know your pain. That way you can solve it, you know, together. Um, with the lock and the little heart on it, again, I am getting somebody really has their feelings locked up. So we need to open them up. Um, so let's see. This is, and look at that, Libra. You're getting your own charm, Libra. Um, and it is charming on the back of it. But yeah, but Libra, you're coming out in your own reading. So a lot of this, you know, could actually be for you um, as far as, you know, how the feelings I'm picking up on, um, not so much your person, but more for you, but you know, take it how it resonates. Again, we have this little butterfly. So talking about, you know, transformation, talking about again, change. trying to make sure I get this in the camera. Okay, so now we have the little bat. And so, you know, bats, you think about, you know, they're nocturnal. Um, they don't have the best eyesight, but they find ways to make things work, right? What I'm getting with that is things are kind of in darkness for you guys right now within this partnership, within this relationship. Um, but then we have the sun. So this is really just kind of telling me that we're about to see some positive changes. We're going to, you know, about to go through again, some kind of transformation going from like the darkness into the light. Um, things are about to kind of like unveil themselves. Again, somebody's probably more than likely going to open up and put all their emotions out there. And, you know, it's just saying like, be ready for it. You know, let's, let's get through this together with the little dress. Again, I'm, um, seeing, you know, some kind of change, some kind of reinvention, um, with the little wheel here. Again, this is talking about, you know, direction, but it's also talking about, you know, taking responsibility to, you know, step up to the wheel on where you want your life to go. Where do you want this relationship to go? Um, so definitely, like I said, that's pretty important here. And then the last charm, which I almost missed is a little key. So the little key and then the lock right here is definitely saying, you know, you have the key to your own happiness, Libra. Not only that, but, you know, we need to kind of unlock those emotions that we've been bottling up. Like I said, you know, talk to somebody, um, you know, Libra, not everything has to fall on you. You know, if this is you or, you know, your person, again, I'm feeling like it's more you Libra, like you're just taking on way too much. Um, as far as like feelings go again, I, I don't know. I keep getting like, I just keep getting that codependency. So, but all right, well, Libra, I do hope this helps your situation. Thank you so very much for watching and until next time, take care.